How do deep sea creatures survive extreme pressure? At the bottom of the ocean, the pressure is intense enough to crush submarines like soda cans. So how do deep sea creatures survive there and even thrive? Their bodies aren't just built for darkness. They're designed to withstand a world that would instantly kill us. Let's dive into five incredible adaptations that let life survive, where no light shines and every inch of water above pushes down like a mountain of death. Fact number one, no bones, no problem. Most deep sea creatures have no hard bones. Instead, they're made of soft, flexible tissue that compresses under pressure. This helps them avoid being crushed. Animals like jellyfish, deep sea octopuses, and some squid are so gelatinous they can flatten and shift with the current flowing like ghosts through the abyss. Fact number two, internal pressure equals external pressure creatures. Like the deep sea anglerfish survive by having internal pressure that matches the crushing pressure outside. Their bodies aren't resisting the weight. They're built to balance it. If brought to the surface too quickly, they literally explode because their internal pressure becomes too great in lower pressure environments. Fact number three, enzymes made for the abyss. These creatures don't just survive, they function. Their enzymes, proteins, and cell structures are chemically adapted to work under high pressure and cold temperatures. If you put one in the lab up here, its cells would stop working. It's not just the body that's different, it's life itself, rewritten by pressure. Fact number four, no air pockets, no collapse air, is the enemy at great depths. That's why deep sea animals don't have gas-filled swim bladders like shallow fish. Instead, they rely on oils or dense fats to control buoyancy. No air equals no implosion. It's a complete evolutionary redesign from the inside out. Fact number five, microscopic survivors that defy death. Even tiny creatures like barophile pressure loving microbes live in deep sea trenches. They don't just tolerate the pressure, they need it to survive. Some of these organisms may hold the key to life on other planets where conditions are just as extreme. So how do deep sea creatures survive extreme pressure? They adapt in ways that sound alien bones replaced by jelly, cells reprogrammed for crushing darkness, and bodies that only exist because the pressure keeps them intact. The deeper we go, the stranger life gets.